And by the way, you know what else is great? It is Wine Wednesday. Oh, love it. So this is the time of the week when we send Marcy Jones to different places, restaurants, wineries, and all of the above across the state to test him out for us. She's at a staple in West Hartford. Marcy, where on earth are you? Hi, guys. Most people have a sign in their house that says, live, laugh, love. Mine says, feed me and give me good wine. And thankfully, I found two guys to do that. I've got Keith here from Brico. I've got Julius Angelini from Angelini Wines. We're going to start with the wine because it's called Wine Wednesday. Julius, what do we have? Okay, we have four great selections. So we have two whites and two reds to go with this fabulous food here. Yeah. We'll start with the Gavi, which is the classic, one of my favorites, a great all-around wine. Yes. The peach stone, it's just... For people who aren't familiar with Gavi. Yep. What is it like? Break it down yeah. for us. Well, I think it just, uh, it's just, it's always a little bit lighter than, say, Pinot Grigio. So, mm -hmm. But it's a little, it also has a little bit more fragrance to it. Okay. It goes great with pesto, but it's really a really versatile uh, wine. So it can I was going to pretend like I haven't drank it yet, but my, <laughs> my long-lasting <laughs> lips that gives it away. Let's try it. It's great. I mean, any... It's so great. It's so smooth. Oh, it's, it's, and it's kind of playful and fruity. I love that. Ooh. Next, we're going to go with a uh, Puy Fumé, okay. which is Sauvignon Blanc, which is just hot now. So this is on the other so side hot. of the river of us uh, from Sancerre, which is also Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. So this is the Loire Valley from uh, France. Just obviously. on the other side of the river? How quaint. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It is that. literally on the other side no of the river. No way. <laughs> okay. So Ooh. this is, uh, you yeah, know, Sub Blanc. Yeah, I can already tell. So this has, it's been on the leaves a little longer. It. Yeah, it's been on the leaves a little longer. It's a little spicy. Yes, it is. Oh, I love that. Ooh, that, a was, bit more that, body. that was a little sassy. <laughs> I like it. Both sassy, of these, I like I that. Love to drink outside, of course, with this fabulous weather. And then I know that we're, are we going to do the reds this one? Do you want to? <gasps> Well, you know I'm always trying to fit the most amount of wine to the segments, but I feel like since we were just talking about outside, we need to talk about the patio opening here at Brico soon. I mean, I'm sure you've already had people dying to sit out there because it's been yeah. so gorgeous recently. Well, yeah. with rain mixed in. Thanks, Scott. Right? Well, with this week, yeah, we have some nice days, and uh, the patio is definitely a popular yes, spot. Yes, and it's going to be expanding, right? That's right. Uh, coming first week of May, they are going to do the uh, street patio again. Okay. Right outside, so it'll give us an additional oh, maybe love that. dozen tables or Nothing so. Nothing like dining al fresco. All right, yeah. so speaking of dining, what do we have in front of us? So we have some of our newer items on the menu now. Okay. Um, so we'll start here with the pacchieri. This is a uh, sweet sausage and stewed chicken um, sauce over a pacchieri pasta, Ooh. which is like a large rigatoni pasta. Okay. Um, this is delicious, one of my favorites. Yeah, and I love that it's a little bit lighter with the chicken in there instead yeah. of having the ground meat. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's delicious. It's got some roasted red peppers in there also. Okay. Um, over here, we have one of Billy's new raviolis. This is a lemon and burrata ravioli Ooh. with a ramp butter and asparagus on top there. Um, ramps like our spring onions. Ramps are onion. so hot. They're having a yes. moment. Yes, you exactly. Know? I wonder who in more. that business was like, you know what? Let's promote ramps. It's worked because they're delicious and they're so springy. The color is gorgeous. Yeah, it really does make a nice color on the dish. Yeah. Um, and it's delicious on top of it. Um, we have our uh, signature uh, whipped ricotta dish here. Super okay. popular. Um, if you like cheese, you're going to be a fan. It's delicious. Right. If you don't like cheese, turn this program off, guys. Get out. You're not my people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's with some toasted filoni bread okay. and um, some honey on top of the whipped ricotta there. Yum. And then over the far end there is another new addition to the menu. Um, we have a chicken milanese. Sometimes we have a pork chop milanese. This right. is a cod milanese. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So panko yeah. crusted, pan fried apple fennel arugula salad on there nice and then with the milanese sauce they also and that's that really milanese. light panko breading yeah that, ooh. night light and crispy excellent well thank yeah. you so much yeah. also if you haven't visited since you reopened in end of january that's right we reopened right before valentine's day wow so we did have a nice little remodel um the place looks got great. a facelift she looks gorgeous yeah. showing off right now come on down any hours times that we want to give people to visit us uh, we're open for lunch every day at 11.30. Uh, dinner starts at 4 p.m. every day. Uh, we're open seven days a week. Give us a call. Come on down. Fantastic. Cheers, guys. Sending it back to you. Happy Wine Wednesday. We'll see you over on the wax. All right. Thanks, Mars. Cheers. Hey, let me ask you a question. Mm. Have you ever thrown a dart at a map <laughs> as a way to pick your next spot to vacation or just to check it out?